Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, my name is Shah. I am a branding and web designer based in the UK and I'm very excited to share this video with you guys because I get to talk to you about the new marketplace that Wix Studio has just released, meaning that you can now buy and sell templates on Wix Studio. So if you have an agency or are a freelancer, web designer, and you're wanting to have an additional income stream, then this video is gonna be perfect for you. I have just gone through the process of designing, building, and then also submitting the template on the new marketplace. So I'm gonna share that whole process with you and kind of what I learned throughout that whole process. But before I dive in, if you guys are new here and you like videos like this, then don't forget to subscribe and leave a thumbs up on this video down below. So going back to Wix Studio, I have spoken about Wix Studio quite a lot on this channel so far. But if you don't know too much about what Wix Studio is just yet, then essentially it's a web design platform for freelancers, for web designers, for agencies, um, with so many different features that make designing a website for clients so easy. Definitely check it out because it could really speed up your workflow. So they launched Wix Studio back in 2023, so last year. Now they have officially launched their new marketplace, as I was saying before, so you can now buy and sell templates. So this is a very exciting time for creators and web designers because we get to now have the opportunity to make some passive income from this. So let's get straight into the actual process. First of all, when you're thinking of a template, you want to pick an industry that you want to go into. So this could be anything. I personally wanted to go into the beauty industry because I think I could do a lot of fun things within that industry. And I also wanted to implement Wix Studio's native booking system into the template as well. So that was kind of the perfect opportunity for me to do that. So I actually ended up choosing to do a template based around a hair salon that I kind of made up that's based in London. Um, so that was fun kind of coming up with this brand and a concept and everything. But like I said, the industries you want to go into are completely up to you. It's whatever you're passionate about, whatever you want to create for. There are definitely a few different industries that now that I have created this one, I want to go into. So I'm definitely going to create some more templates going forward. But honestly, the options are kind of endless. So you can have a lot of fun. So once you've got the industry sorted, you have a brand name, you kind of have the concept of the business you are basing this template around, and then go into deciding the look and feel of it. So you don't necessarily have to design outside of Wix Studio, you can very easily just design everything straight onto the platform. For me, I like to visualize things by designing out at least one page first to kind of get the idea and overview of how I want things to look and feel. So this kind of helps me decide on the color palette, the fonts, um, and like I said, just the overall vibe. So before I went into Wix Studio, I designed out a home page, um, kind of giving me a rough idea of how I wanted the whole vibe of the template to feel, which does help me speed up my workflow a little bit better. So I have those ideas out before I start to build them, but everyone's different. Like I said, you can build straight into Wix Studio, whatever is easiest for you. So once I'm happy with the overall vibe of the template and I know kind of exactly what I'm going for, I then jump into Wix Studio and start creating my new template. So the, one of the first things I do is kind of set up all my styling. I set up my color palettes, my fonts, the sizing, all of kind of the basics that I need to get going. And then I start building out my different sections. One thing that I found so underrated within this entire process is actually how easy the Wix Studio platform is to build templates. It's almost as if it was like made for it because anytime I needed a image, I didn't have to leave the platform. I can just search within Wix Studio for royalty free images that don't require any licensing. They've got so many on there. So I found all the relevant imagery I needed directly on Wix. Um, and I can swap things out, add things. It just was so quick and easy to do. They also have different icons, videos, kind of anything you'd need graphically to create a web design. While you're building the template, there are some guidelines that you need to keep in mind that Wix Studio has outlined. They've got a full page on the website um, dedicated to their guidelines. So I'll leave that link below in case you wanna have a look at it. You want to make sure that you're following all of the guidelines so that when it comes to submitting the template at the end, you're going to have very high chances of that template getting accepted. So I'll leave that linked below. Just in terms of content, you wanna make sure that you're not using any copyrighted 
imagery so you want to make sure that it doesn't require any licenses so that's why i would also recommend sticking to the imagery that is on wix studio that they kind of provide for you another thing is also fonts you don't want to go uploading custom fonts because there might be some issues when it comes to font licensing and things like that so wix do have an array of different fonts that you can use that are already pre-built into the platform um, and i would just recommend sticking to those ones so you don't run into any issues So once you're happy with all of the pages of the template and the design, then I would move over to testing the template before you submit it. There are a few built-in tools actually that Wix offers that makes it really easy to kind of check over your things like HTML tags, the contrast, the font sizing, just to make sure that it reaches a certain accessibility requirement. So it's important that you don't have fonts across the site that is too small or that the background color against the font is too hard to read. That's why you check things like the contrast levels. They make it very easy to check for things like this. Also, you wanna make sure that the website is fully responsive across all of the different sizes of screens. So on Wix Studio, you can actually check the different sizing and breakpoints just to make sure it's all looking smooth. Or there's also a Chrome extension called Viewport Resizer, which you can install. Once you've run all of the tests and you are satisfied with how everything is looking, then you can go and submit the template. And the process of submitting the template is so easy. There is a link to the form and on that form, you have to fill out a little bit more information about the template. So what industry it's in, a few sentences about the template, kind of giving an overview of what the person buying can expect from this template. You can also add some imagery and videos of the template. There is a button at the end that you just press submit and then that gets sent off for review. And usually the process takes about 30 days but they'll keep you updated with the process and if for some reason it doesn't meet a certain guideline then they will let you know and then you can fix the issue and then resubmit it again once you've settled any issues that may have come up so in order to submit your template via this form you'll need to first become a partner of wix studio which you can apply for as well i'll leave the link to that below you'll also be able to input the price for the template wix studio leaves this completely up to you on how you want to price the template so it could depend on the complexity of the design how how many pages the template is, how many features you've put in there. Also with these templates, you're able to add custom code. So this could change how you want to price things if you've put a lot of custom code into it. So it's completely up to you how you want to price it. If you're not sure, you can always take a look at other options on the marketplace and see how other templates are priced and kind of make a decision based around that. But something that's good to know is that Wix Studio does not take a cut of your template. So 100% of the sale goes to you, which I think is amazing. So going back to having that additional income stream and making some passive income, this makes it so easy for you because you can submit however many templates you want to submit the options and opportunities are honestly endless so the more templates that you submit onto the marketplace and get accepted the more chances you have of making additional income so if you haven't already thought about creating templates or have been a bit daunted by the idea of making templates i know i had been in the past it's something that i have always wanted to do but the whole process of it kind of seemed a little bit daunting to me it just felt like this long tiresome process but honestly with wix studio and the new marketplace they've made it so so easy to do and anyone can do it if you want to get started i will leave all of the links down below including links to wix studio so you can check it out if you haven't already links to um, become a partner if you haven't and also links to the submission form where you can submit your template to the new marketplace also if you guys have any questions at all about the process about wix studio about the new marketplace please feel free to leave a comment down below and I'll get back to you. Otherwise, you can send me an email or drop me a DM on social media and I'm happy to answer any questions there. So I hope you guys found this useful. I'm gonna show you a clip of kind of the final template that I ended up submitting. If you guys know anyone who is interested in web design or is a web designer, freelancer, and wants to make a little bit more money, then definitely share this video along to them because i'm sure they'll be able to find it useful and if you guys have any questions at all around on big studio making templates or the new marketplace then definitely leave a comment down below or drop me a message and i will answer as soon as i can but thank you guys so much for watching and i will see you guys in my next video
sacrifice me, the curse I'm holding. 